Text is Second Samuel two four twelve. And last time I didn't finish the chapter, so it's just the last verse of this chapter. And to re- refresh what was going on, uh, similar to when the guy claimed to kill, he killed Saul and came to um, David trying to win favor, they did this with one of, uh, it was Jonathan's son, Saul's grandson, who was um, sleeping at the time and they killed him. And David learns of the actual story. And scripture doesn't say how he finds out that it was the details of it. They may have told him, um, trying to get favor. But so he sees that this is first off, them just killing anybody in that way is dishonor. And then they saw it trying to make okay, your enemies are gone. And David saw it as okay, it's God's place to deal with my enemies. And so now this is how he decides to they should be punished. And David commanded his men. And they slew them and cut off their hands and feet and hanged them over the pool of Hebron. But they took the head of Ishboth and buried it in the sepulcher of Abner in Hebron. So they gave him uh, the one that was murdered a proper burial. And what they're doing is, okay, this behavior is not honored. Uh, So they're letting them be an example, but they're also putting them to shame by this shameful death because of what they were doing was completely out of line of what God wanted. God was already in the process of almost giving David complete the throne and the person they killed uh, had no means to take it in the first place. So, and, and David wasn't worried about anybody about it because he was focused on the Lord. So he he probably knew about this, most likely knew about this child of Jonathan and his condition and maybe even more, maybe even sent word because of his closeness with Jonathan and to keep updated of how he was doing, which may have been one of the means David knew how they killed him we don't know exactly. It's uh, just theories. But either way, he when and he did hear about them, if he heard about them later, even with people who did directly stand in David's way, he trusted God to deal with them rather than take it in himself. We, we see that mainly with him interacting with Saul. When he... Um, when Saul's trying to kill him, David's already been appointed as king, and David has opportunity to kill Saul and take the throne. But David honors God, and then when they and that guy can't claims he kills Saul, which because Saul fell on his sword, he puts the guy has the guy put to death as punishment for even claiming such a thing. So we see David's integrity growing. And this is why God chose him to be a king, because his integrity would grow. And we as Christians, as we walk, our integrity should be growing and developing and moving. 